Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Good. Because you're in for a treat tonight. That's right. We have a book called Mog and the Baby by Judith Kerr. Once upon a time. One day... Mog was playing with Nicky. Debbie was going to school. Mr. Thomas was going to work. But Nicky had a cold. Mog and Nicky played Catch the String. Then they played Bad Dogs. Then they played Tickle Mog's Tummy. And then they played Ball. Suddenly they heard a noise. It was a crying noise. It was a very loud crying noise. Mrs. Thomas said, Look who's here. Mrs. Cluttlebuck has bought her baby. We're going to look after it while she goes shopping. The baby looked at Mog and stopped crying. It said, Psss, instead. It's trying to say puss, said Mrs. Thomas. Will my baby be all right with your cat, said Mrs. Cluttlebuck. Oh, yes, said Mrs. Thomas. Mog loves babies. But Mog and Nicky had to stop playing ball because the baby did not know how to play. I've got a very good idea, said Mrs. Thomas. Let's take the baby for a ride in the pram. The baby liked riding in the pram. It said, Psss. I've got a baby in the pram too, said Nicky. Mog said nothing, but she was not happy. When they came back, it was lunchtime. But the baby did not want to eat its lunch. It said, Psss, instead. It said, Psss, and cried. It cried so much that Mog did not want to eat her lunch. She went away and sat in a basket. She sat in a basket and tried to think of other things while Mrs. Thomas and Nicky cleared the dishes. The baby found a dish to clear too. Look what it's done, said Nicky. Oh dear, said Mrs. Thomas, perhaps the baby would like a rest. But the baby did not want to rest, and it said, Psss, psss, psss. It said, Psss, and cried. It wants Mog, said Mrs. Thomas. Will Mog be all right with the baby, said Nicky. Oh yes, said Mrs. Thomas. Mog loves babies. Mog sat in her basket and the baby stopped crying. It was nice and quiet when the baby stopped crying. It was so quiet that Mog fell asleep. She had a dream. It was a lovely dream. It was a dream about babies. Suddenly she woke up. Mog thought this baby is everywhere. She thought, I'm getting out of here. Mog ran across the road. But the baby was coming after her. And the bad dog was waiting on the other side. And there was a car coming. There's my baby, shouted Mrs. Clutterbuck. There's Mog, shouted Debbie. There's only one way to go, thought Mog. And she jumped. She jumped away from the dog. She jumped away from the car. She bumped into the baby. The baby flew through the air and came down on the pavement. It said, Psss! Mrs. Thomas stopped the car just in time. My baby, oh my baby, said Mrs. Clutterbuck. It's a silly baby, said Nicky. It shouldn't have run into the road. Mog saved it, said Debbie. She's a very brave cat, said Nicky. She is the bravest cat in the world. She's a baby saving cat, and she should have a reward. They all went to get Mog a reward. It was a very big reward. It was a reward from Mrs. Cutterbuck. Mog saved my baby from being run over, said Mrs. Cutterbuck. I told you, said Mrs. Thomas. Mog loves babies. The end of Mog and the Baby, here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and Cats that love babies around the world. Good night.